Hi, I'm Teniola Shuboale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for May the 6th, 2022. The Supreme Court on Friday partly resolved the ownership dispute in 17 oil wells ownership in favour of the River State Government in a judgment prepared by Justice Ellen Ogun Miju but delivered by Justice Imalol Agim, the Apex Court dismissed the counterclaim ownership put forward by the Imo State Government. Leaders in the southeast have appealed to President Muhammadu Buhari to release the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. But well, the president, speaking during a visit to Ebony State, said only the courts will decide Mr. Kanu's fate. I have listened carefully to the various appeals from the elders to the traditional leaders regarding a wide range of options. And as I have said previously, this matter remains in the full view of the court where it will be properly educated. And Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefile has reportedly picked up the expression of interest and in nomination forms of the All Progressives Congress for the 2023 elections. Former Zamfara State Governor Ahmed Yarima has also signaled his intention to join the APC presidential race after meeting with President Mohamedou Buhari. On the international scene, Ukrainian forces have accused Russia of firing during the civilian evacuation of the Mariupol steelworks with a car being hit. There are thought to be about 200 civilians, including at least 20 children, trapped with Ukrainian fighters on their the Mariupol plant. And in sports, Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has signed a new three-year contract that will keep him at the Emirates until 2025. And that's the Evening News Recap. Visit ChannelCV.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Tenio Lashuboale. Thanks for watching.